Hi everyone, Deb here. I am doing D stashes. I'm going to start with two boxes that have papers that were mostly, well, they're a combination of what used to be 6x6 six six and what used to be 12x12, 12 12, but they're all cut down to 6x6. Six six. I'm going to go through this box. I have another box that's basically identical, except that I threw in um, a few embellishments and ribbons, which are a little bit different in each box, so I'll show you them. So let me put this on the floor, and then I'll show you this box, and then I'll just show you in the other box the um, what the ribbons are. So let me start, and you're going to have a mixture of regular and a little bit of... Um, Let's see, a little bit of holiday. And this is all the paper. I don't know if you can see, there's some uh, images I had to cut down to fit in the box. But this is all the designer paper, including some um, holiday and including some specialty vellum or glitter papers. So let me, I'm going to kind of flip through. Oh, I just kind of messed up where I split that. Oh, well. I think it was after this one. And some of these were celebration, but some, you know, were things that I bought. Um, in a couple cases, there's a whole pack of paper in each box. Um, and when I get to that, I'll share with you what that was. But in other cases, it's what I had left, whole sheets only, cut into six by six. And um, there may not have been every sheet left in the, you know every design and whatever that pattern was so all right daffodil dream um i think this is one pretty sure this is one that i think that's what it was called i don't have the thing here um now this looks like half a pack of the daffodil whatever it was that was a celebration from january and february a little bit not a whole lot of um it was the something penned it went with the hand penned also but you can color the flowers in here and the other side has black and white it's all black and white paper and then this i think was also a celebration i don't remember the names of these guys but um yeah lots of florals in blues and pinks and greens some watercolory looking things and then some pretty designs on the back too that looks like about half a pack also then i do have some in here designer papers um neutrals they're retired ones not the colors the colors aren't retired in those but a few regals and some brights it's a mishmash and they're not whole packs by any stretch um, a few in colors um, from the 20 to 22, Just Jade, Bumblebee, Cinnamon Cider, Misty Moonlight, not a whole lot of those. I used a lot of that. And this was um, an ombre, and I think I ended up adding more of this in later. I don't know, but so I think there's more of this in here later on. Also, the Simply Marvelous. Um, quite a quite a lot of that actually then the um, I want to say pattern play or playing with pattern I think it's pattern play this is really nice paper for birthdays and stuff or any kind of celebration or kids cards or really anything um i love it but i had another pack so this i think is a half a pack of that and then i believe yeah four sheets of this sparkly i don't remember what this is called either and then not a whole lot of but some of the golf paper the masculine which is like this um and then but i actually like the backs of some of these better this i know i never had the golf set but i remember that these cut out with that the dies and i had two sheets of the uh little golf carts some plaid some golf bags love the blue plaid 
argyle, you know, so just um, variety in that. Oops, goes the other way. And they're going to be pretty much the same. There's a couple like in the like in the six by six in um, color family ones where I might only had one sheet of a color or a design. So, but there might have been a couple of those, so I just split them between the packs. I hope that made sense. Um, some part, partial sheets of vellum I had the light blue, the yellow, and the lavender. I don't remember the color names exactly. And same with this vellum. This is petal pink. I want to say old olive and um, there's a yellow here too. So these would be really pretty for making flowers or just using on cards. I think you get two squares of each color. It's just how I cut them. I cut them at the same time. Um, and then this um, was, well that was probably the bottom. <laughs> um, this, I think this was a sale. I don't remember, guys. This was a whole pack of something, I, I believe. A whole pack of a floral. But I don't remember the name of it. It has daisies. It has those beautiful blue, like, roses. Tulips on the back of that. And that real pretty sheet there I loved a lot. So that's half of it. And these went with the golf. Um, both sets will have some images. I, I can't pick and choose for you which ones. And the back of it, if you don't want to use those images, is this. Um, but you're both getting, whoever buys these gets a female golfer and a tree, a male golfer and a female golfer. She's kind of, her golf club's kind of cut off. So just these two, really. I might cut that off, actually. And, um, yeah, so they're going to be in the box, too. But, actually, I won't cut it off because you could still use part of that for a mat. Um, I think the other one doesn't have that. So, that's that one. And then this stack. Um, this is an older paper. It went with the um, terracotta tile, um, the, the rose color, Rococo rose, the purple posy that we couldn't use the ink for the diamonds that one's beautiful there if you like vintage that has like a vintage feel um, so anyway you get the idea I'm gonna put this cardboard down there and then there are some specialties in each one this also was from the time when terracotta tile was in this has butterflies on some of it hummingbirds on some of it and part of it is shiny and part of it is not. So there's there's not a whole lot of that, but there's some. And then there's vellum. And this was the something glass vellum. It was like, it, it's like such stained glass almost. And I had to divide this up because there wasn't a whole lot. I think each person got four or five sheets of that. This one's a um, much older one, and I can't remember the name of it. I actually had bought it. Uh, I think this is like a quarter pack of it. I had bought it wanting to use it, but um, and one of the colors in that is sugar plum or something like that. Anyway, um, okay, here you're getting pretty much a whole pack, I think. You know, maybe half a pack of the strawberries. Um, and in the stamp D stashes, a couple of them have the celebration berry, uh, stamp. So that will go nice with that. Or if you have the strawberry set, which I'm not giving up, that'll go nice with that. And then this is some of that in color when we had blueberry bushel, I can't, the strawberry, the berry, whatever, berry burst or something. I don't know. Blueberry bright yellow and grapefruit grove I think it's a uh, lovely lipstick was the red and then this I don't know even what the name of this was it's very old but it's got gold foiling on one side and it had I think it was like for a baby bundle or something because it's got pink and blue but you could use that for anything really and and or the gold on the back 
And then this is um, another black and white paper. It's all black and white on each side. Again, you could color the... I think this is the one that was called penned, something penned, but I can't remember. Anyway, if there's some, you know, dots and stripes, but also florals that you can color or not. Part of the Wildcats, just whatever I had left, divided up. Um, and that Wildcats stamp bundle is in one of the D stash boxes too. Um, but I just cut whatever I had left into six by six. This was the uh, hello, friendly hello, or something like that paper um, from the celebration. Let me go back to see if I can here. Starts here. I'm gonna put this here. Um, so you have some birds, and the colors in this were pool party, pale papaya, I think, granny apple green. Um, fresh freesia so they're they're colors that are current and um, shaded spruce I want to say that's pretty okay and then this was a uh, ombre paper um, and you get basically a half a pack of that so there's Rococo Rose uh, I don't remember that color and the Rich Raspberry, I believe, and the green. Anyway, so there's green, pink, Costa Cabana, and I think Rococo Rose. And then there's a couple sheets of the Lovely Lipstick, and there's like half a sheet, actually, of Lovely Lipstick, Grapefruit Grove Foil. There's a couple, two, two squares of um, felt uh, in purple and cinnamon cider. And there's, I think, four squares in both of them, three squares in both of this. This was a specialty paper. I don't remember exactly when. And then we have some Christmas holiday papers. This was the one with all the red and gold foil, excuse me, <coughs> excuse me, words and things on it and then the other side is black and white some scripty some newspaper looking things and this was the brightly gleaming with the ornaments and actually that is in the d stash too that bundle in one of the holiday ones uh didn't have a whole lot of that left but but some it's pretty i like it and then this was the this was very popular. It was the town home coming home. I forget the name. Um, and I didn't use a whole lot of it, but it's got uh, you know different happy holidays, tis the season, tidings of comfort and joy. But anyway, they're all in different languages. Um, it's got wreaths on the back, some holiday trees, and. Uh, olive green there, some people holding hands and singing, I guess, the carolers. Just smaller version of the houses. This one had the road with the car on it. I think there's a whole sheet of that in here. Yes. Um, and then there was, I think, only a half a sheet of the houses, because that's all I had left of that. And then... There's a little bit of this autumn paper that I don't remember the name of, but it has some leaves, some pumpkins, some greenery. Let me see what's on the other side of that. Okay, some feathers, some other pumpkins upside down. And um, this is a nice sheet with the smaller pumpkins like a harvest. This is like a harvest paper. It's really pretty. And then the back has some wood grain, some other leaves, that nice fall plaid. This is um, pretty peacock color. That's what that color is. And I don't remember what color this is. Some kind of a gray, maybe gray granite. I'm not sure. Anyway, nice fall paper. And then a whole pack of the cute little penguin paper 
because I had like four of them. So I'm putting two, one each, one in each box. So this box for the ribbon has these um, plus the heart charms. It's not a full container, but it's good, good many in there. Um, whale of a time sequins again not a whole container but there's a lot left and these flowers for every season gems green and white which are nice for shakers and I'm putting them in a little bag like this so hopefully they don't spill out and then also um, this this container will have the stamp cleaning pad and the stamp cleaning pad refill they don't sell that anymore, and I don't, if I used it, I used it like once or twice, so I really can't give you advice on that. All right, I'm going to put this back in the box, then I'll show you the ribbon for these, and then I'm going to pause again and bring the um, paper boxes up to go, I mean the stamp boxes up, because I had to go through each of those for you. Be right back. Okay, guys, just a note, that box I showed you a minute ago was uh, D-A-H-L... P for paper, 02. What I'm showing you now, the paper is exactly the same, give or take a few sheets that might have been different in each one where I only had one of each. Um, but this one, the ribbons are these. I'm, I'm going to leave the pins in if there's a pin in there. I hope that's okay. So just be careful when you're taking them out. Um, I was going to do a separate ribbon de-stash, but I had done one earlier, and I don't have much more uh, I've discovered that I'm wanting to part with yet. So it's um, these two from those previous in colors. I think that is Seaside Spray, Pretty Peacock. This is Petal Pink and Rococo Rose on the edges. And this is um, from the Forever Greenery it's Open Weave Ribbon. Um, some of these little wooden embellishments, there's leaves and things in here. Um, I use some of them, but this is what's left. So there are some missing, but there's some in here too. Um, and then for the embellishments, uh, sequins from Woven Threads. That's one of those papers, uh, by the way. Now this is not a full container either of these um, antique corners and slides elements. But there are some corners and there are some slides, plenty to use. And these are ice cream corner sprinkles, um, which I doesn't look like I even opened them. I think I have another one maybe. And then lastly, I have one extra pear pizzazz full ink pad. So that'll be in here too. Um, so if you don't want them, just give them to a friend or something, please. So those ribbons that I just showed you and things are in the box B-A-H-L-P-O-1. Just real quick, those paper boxes with the ribbons are $60 shipped. And the shipping is $16.10. So that's $43.90 just for all that paper. Not a bad deal, guys. That's a lot of paper. A lot of different paper. And some for the holidays, you know. All right, next box. Okay, these next boxes are the longer, skinny, medium, flat rate box. Uh, medium, flat rate box. Those other ones were the square ones. I'm going to take everything out of these. This one is going to be DAHL box one. That is what it'll be called. And all these boxes, I actually have three regular boxes and two holiday and they are all going to be $175 shipped um, which again 1610 comes off of that for shipping and they're jammed full uh, which gives me $158.90 there's at least 12 bundles some extra embossing folders some and I think some, one of them or two of them standalone die set and um, if I just divide the 158.90 by 12 bundles, that's like 1324 a bundle, guys. You cannot, you cannot beat that, right? Now I made them cheap like that because some of these are celebration items, 
each box has um, three, two, two, three celebration items. So I'm going to show those first. And one or two of them are gently used, but the other ones are never used because they were the extras. Um, so corner, this one has corner bouquet, approaching perfection, and feels like home. Those are the celebration ones. And I did use the feels like home, I think, once some of the stamps. Uh, never used approaching perfection. I still have my own version. And um, this one looks like I, I took it off of there, but I think I used it once and it's pretty in pretty good shape. I could use a little extra cleaning maybe. Uh, so that's those. And then uh, the first two sets and some of the dies might have slipped down. Or, yeah, they did. Ornate thanks along with the ornate layers dies which has you know the two layers of dies in here i actually really like these dies but it has those and these smaller ones and i'm going to leave them on the magnet sheets for you also so that's a bonus uh, so that one and ceiling home and the dies are in here too let me see if i can find them real quick mm, of course not well, we'll find them, but the dies are in there to that too. Then the embossing folder for Old World, which just retired, I believe. All right, and an embossing folder called Star Crossed Embossing Folder. Uh, that was from the August, December 21 mini, 2021 mini. Okay, a wish for everything, and I'm going to miss these, but the um, Word Wishes dies. I've had them for years. Um, the stamp is, it, it's used some, has a lot of good sentiments in it, but the dies I absolutely loved. They're so versatile. Um, has St. Patrick's Day, Valentine's, New Year's, Happy, Thanksgiving, Christmas, Halloween, Merry for Christmas or whatever father's mother's day and easter so happy easter happy father's day you know and it's a nice font i really was thinking twice about that if you see stickers on yours um i'll take them off. this meant it had coordinating dye and this meant it was sentiment only <laughs> also happiest of birthdays love this one Hey Chick, cute one too, and and these um, dies to go with that, with the corn and the, like the little hen house. Fairy blessings, this was celebration too. So I have an extra, you have four celebrations in this one, I guess. Yeah, I don't know how that happened. Anyway, um, springtime joy, I almost didn't want to give that one up too another bundle now this one the quite curvy um came with these dies right but then also curvy christmas so i kept it together and there's um magnetic sheets in this too holding this in fact i think there's no i guess there's just that one so yeah it curves cuts these out or you can do this curve and um yeah and make a nice tree line for christmas and stuff or for spring and summer anytime so there's that really nice one uh, this one is called birds and branches there's no sentiments in this but all the little birdies and the border and some hearts and stuff are in here this cut out one is pretty and all squared away which you've seen me use um, this one does not have a medic magnetic sheet. I don't have them in all of them, thankfully. It would be too heavy. And then, oh, here's the um, sailing home dies, just so you see. And then there's two punches. The uh, and they'll they'll be wrapped tighter in plastic. Um, timeless label punch. And in this one the perennial flower punch so that is d 
DAHL box one. And you know, the punches cost originally $18 by themselves, so that's 36 alone. And these are like, you know, 8 to 10 kind of thing. So it is a great value, everybody. You know, it sounds expensive. Um, if it's in your budget, you know, take advantage. And whatever you don't like, you can, you know, you, maybe you can split it with a friend. I'm just putting them in wrong. Um, I just know that I've had some of these in boxes in my small space up here on the floor and I haven't been able to walk <laughs> so I really need to de-stash plus as many of you know I'm not going to do Stampin' Up! after the end of June anymore and I just really need the funds especially if I want to place a final order before I depart um, so yeah the bottom part has that's how I missed that um, five, ten stamps, and then the top part you know, might have only nine, and then the top part is going to have these, and it's bulging, and it's a little bit big here at the top, I'm going to have to figure out a way to tape them down, and they're all going to be like that, so that's box one, let me do box two, all right, this one has lighthearted lines, beautiful moments, and the celebration ones are a sweet sampler, which was a host only. I don't know if that was celebration. It doesn't say that. It says host. Hmm. I think it, hmm. I don't know. Darling donkeys. Never used. Special moments. Nice. Very nice. I love that uh, sentiment stamp. I don't think this one was ever used either. Nope. Um, this one was used. And this one... I don't think was ever used either. Lay hard lines. Okay. And then, the Hippo and Friends dies. I would never had the stamp set, but here are the dies. I loved them. I used these in particular a lot. I used them all, but I don't have the stamps for the actual hippos. I never got that. Uh, these work with your mini embossing folder. This one is really pretty with the flowers and butterflies and then just the greenery. And then this one is Checks and Dots, also very nice. And again, it works with your mini um, machine. And then also the Tin Tile Dynamic Textured Impressions Embossing Folder. This was back when we were, uh, Stampin' Up! was still going with Sizzix. I loved this one. This looks really good with um, foil paper. Okay, oops. Okay, now, the other stamp sets, Woodland Wonder and Hey Girlfriend Stand Alone, Royal Peacock with the detailed peacock dies, I don't have them visible, Flourishing Phrases, I loved this one too, Flourish Thin Lit Dies, uh, I don't have them visible, so you can see they were when they used Sizzix too, oh, that's, the, that's the paper from it. Sorry, there goes my phone. Oh, it's going to have to wait. Um, and it's two stamp sets. One with, you know, all kinds of, like, marriage, sympathy, congratulations, love, thank you, just a note. It's a beautiful set. And set of thighs. Um, okay, so here's for something else. Circle Celebration. Floating and fluttering with the fluttering dies. You got your butterflies there in two step, it looks like. Um, and then you can cut them out twice, I think, at the same time. Also, delicate petals. Um, they're all in here, but they're just coming off the sticky. This is really pretty, too. That is beautiful right there. Anyway welcoming window i almost didn't want to get rid of this too because i don't really have a window now but uh, this is nice for mother's day or a homecoming like a new home somebody and then wildcats which some of that paper was in there and then two punches 
which is the vase builder punch but i don't think i have the vase um there was a vase set but i think i destashed that before and this classic label punch uh, those two punches sorry guys i don't know who that is um so that is box two dhl box two and again it's going to be 175 dollars and i will wrap these up i'm going to come back and do the other three boxes see you in a minute all right everyone i'm back with box three i do have four boxes of regular so we already did one and two we're going to do three and four and then i have two what i'm calling holiday boxes so box three we're on box three celebration is approaching perfection berry blessings and friendly hello we have i didn't have another rubber band but encircled in friendship with the encircled in beauty dies and also the encircled in warmth um i may have used that once yeah it looks like i used these two so they're all they all have their backs on but those go together um so that's one double bundle if you will pretty perennials with the dies that's from last year's uh, january or june mini and then we have queen anne's lace back on your feet which i have used i absolutely love that turtle but you know well all things fabulous with these beautiful dies as well um yeah sending hugs i might have used that once or twice and these beautiful dies i love that one too i just can't keep everything and positive thoughts with nature's thoughts i love this stamp set love this flower the feather and the butterfly i just love it hugs prayers and love anyway so there's them and then um okay they're upside down hang on handsomely suited with the dyes sorry that's the one like the neckties and shirts and things it makes a really nice one hey birthday chick which i almost wanted to hang on to as well i love this one with the, the tail holding the balloon and this one here best of cluck let's celebrate you create with friends that's a standalone um photo polymer island vibes um actually that's a celebration one too but i i i took them off and i think i practiced yeah but i didn't actually do a card with them but that goes nice with the timeless tropical and i have used them um love this large pineapple in here with the top part too and then these other dies cut out what you stamp here this flower is gorgeous that flower right there what's that called a hibiscus and then there's more the two um punches is the umbrella one which i don't have that stamp set anymore i don't think and this um what is this called confetti flowers border punch so those are the two punches that will be in this box all right i'm gonna put you on pause and i'll come back and do box four that was box three d-a-h-l dash box three is what you have to ask for all righty box four um calming camellia this was a host from celebration only darling donkeys this might have been no um looks like i took them off i might have used that but i don't know because i have another one that i've written on maybe i used two of them and special moments and that has never been used that's a new one those were all celebration um then we have way to goat from the annual and art in bloom with the bloom dies this is a photo polymer wow you got some extra pieces that i've done and there's actually two um, photo polymer stamps in here like that and these in the middle 
Anyway, I kept them in the plastic. So there you have some extra pieces. And then, uh, oh, that Art and Bloom also has this hybrid embossing folder. Uh, the, I think these dies here cut those flowers out there as well. So that goes with that. Um, I love this one, Dottie Hearts embossing folder. I use this when I did a Valentine's Day a card, uh, Valentine's card a day for 14 days in um, January, February time frame. Love the Dottie Hearts. But it's retired and I don't, I probably have other ones. Hammered Metal. This one has a few extra embossing folder. Bark and Lace Dynamic. This was this older one. Um, but they're all retired now. And the standalone dies in this one are the Stitch So Sweetly. I use these over and over and over again. Mostly these, but also these as well. Okay, they work well. Okay, this one I'm kind of hesitant to get rid of, but Honey Bee and Detailed Bee dies. We have a new bee set. This one's cuter, quite honestly, but oh well. And then the old Hexagon Dynamic Textured Impressions Embossing Folder. It's a 3D from um, eight, 2018 and 19 when I first started. We have a new honeycomb one, so I don't need two. I tried, I tried to put like things with Valentine Keepsakes. Um, I, I'm sure I did use this once, maybe, or twice, but that's cute for Valentine's Day. I think it went with keepsake boxes or something, but I'm not... I'm not dealing with those. <laughs> Prettiest birthday, the cakes and the balloons. And this is nice for also for like any kind of party. It doesn't have to be birthday. You can just do congratulations, let the adventure begin. Um, and a little shopping bag and flowers and stuff. Enjoy the moment. This one is kind of funky, but it actually makes really pretty cards. I love these little, I call them nose, nose stickers or, or twirlies whatever they come down off the tree and this gorgeous one blossoms in bloom it has I'm leaving it on the magnet sheets too um, this makes some gorgeous cards I was hesitant to get rid of this too but I have just I have the original sticky sheet in here too by the way but those uh, it makes beautiful cards and with the stamps and the nice sentiments too and there's more. <laughs> well, I can't get that back in right now. Hang on. And then also, Stellar Birthday. That worked with the Give It a Whirl dies, but I'm keeping the dies on that one. Sorry. I wrote on here, coordinates with Give It a Whirl dies. Etched in Nature. It's a standalone stamp set. Um, I think there were some issues with this, but I could stamp some of it out fine. So I'm going to put it in anyway. And these are standalone dies. They're called iconic dies. Um, but they kind of coordinate good with this because it's got mushrooms and a bird and a bee and a flower and a twig and a leaf and stuff. So it doesn't, it does not cut this out. They're standalone, but they're, they kind of go with it, right? All right, both the many happenings and the many messages along with the dies that work with both of them. Um, I used one of them, this one. I used many messages. I don't think, yeah, I never used the many happenings. Never got around to it, and it's retired now, so. And the green, again, meant sentiments only, and the blue meant it came with dyes. Hand pen petals. This was a brand new extra set I think I got from something. Uh, an upline or something I'm not sure um, and then there's punches in this one too and the punches in this one are um, it's a little bit dirty you need to clean it but um, story label punch this was from a uh, celebration coordination product so you had to buy it but um, from 2019 which was my year two and July 3rd marks four years I would have been with Stampin' Up. And this one, popular, 
Love it. It's the Banner Pick-A-Punch with, it goes to two inches, one and a half and one inch wide. This is the, not the one for the smaller strips, but the larger one. I'm giving it up. They retired it and I don't have room in my, my punch drawers. <laughs> All right, guys, that is box four contents. Let me get my desk cleaned up and I'll come back with the holiday boxes. All right, everyone, I am back with the two holiday boxes. So let me just jump right in. And I call them holiday because they have, they may have autumn. I don't think there's any Halloween in here. So if you got your, except for some that have a um, like mixture of things on them, there's only one or two of those in here. And also um, most of it is Christmas. So we'll just go through. All right, lots of leaves. Um, there are dyes in here for that. Just have to, yeah, here they are. With some added things of leaves. They are stitched leaves. And there's this, which really you can make actually a cityscape with it. I did that on a card years ago. These are photopolymer and they are used. They're stained, but they're good. Very nice. Now, these go with the stitch stars, I think, but I'm not giving up my star dies. But morning stars, like morning glories, um, and so many stars, they're beautiful just to stamp. This one's a two-step. They both are um, considered two-step. I'm not sure why this one is considered that, but really nice for Christmas. And then this one's nice for any time. Heal Your Heart is a celebration. Counting Sheep is a celebration. I had to throw a couple of them in too because I had a lot of them. Let's see, and counting sheep comes with dyes, and they're in here, and this one is never used. Alrighty, celebration tidings with these dyes. These are ones that you can fold them over and make a bag topper, or just cut it in half at the middle and have it you know, go on the side of a card kind of thing. All sorts of ways you can use those. Or just have a nice label, the smaller one. And this one is one, it's good for Halloween, Thanksgiving or, or fall, Valentine's even. Uh, it's got Just For You, Always Grateful, Happy Haunting, a Merry Christmas, a spider, and some little swirly things. Really pretty. All right, warm hugs and wrapped in Christmas along with the warm hugs dies. And I did a template for um, the wrap, uh, the size of the cups, if you have any of the cups. I have some here actually, um, but I don't, I'm probably just gonna take them to Goodwill. I, I don't wanna send them through the mail. And anyway, so yeah, this is more of a generic one, but it could also be holiday. And it's got the little cups and the labels and then wrapped in Christmas, um, the, the circle dies go with that here. Circle and, what is that, like a hexagon. Peace and joy. These words have like the shadows behind them. Bright peace and joy. Or also just, the, you can stamp them and cut them out. Um, or there's dies here that cut the words out. I have one there that says peace in blue. I don't know if you can see it. But that's a really nice set too. And then there's um, these stamp the color in the background with the, the white part. Um, is like the hollow part is the, the word. I don't know if I'm saying that right. This one I loved. I used it quite a bit actually. It was a million dollar one. But um, it was this tree. And um, photopolymer. You can do leaves. You can just do dots. Um, you have a little birdhouse hanging down if you want to. Hello, thinking of you and life is beautiful. I put that in the holiday one because it makes a nice autumn tree. And then um, this, yeah, well, I should go on a different one. Um, beads and baubles. I actually think that should have gone in the box with the peacock, but I put it in here because of Christmas gleaming. And the punches that go with this, they're not wrapped up yet, but they will be. Um, 
I think this particular set, no, this one uses both. So this punch, is that a little messy, does this one, and then this punch does these two. So that's that, and I thought you could just punch and use foil or something, and it makes a really, I'm sure this was with the Peacock set but originally, but it's okay. Um, it, see, that would make a really pretty bauble, too or even just a background. So there you have some with the, the foil uh, already in there too, on the embossing folder. And then we have the adorable warm and toasty. There's no dies for this. And I did use it um, a couple times, I think. Most all the stamps in there I used. And Wishes and Wonder, this is the sleigh. And there's a reindeer you can cut out and then a little bit different one um the the um oh shoot not the dough buck the buck and then there's some mistletoe special delivery made in the north pole you know joyful holiday ho holiday joyful holly i think this is a standalone i oh i guess i did use it a little bit but it looks like i only used the uh, a joyful Christmas to you. I must have used the holiday, holly, but they didn't stain it as much because I used the berries. Anyway, and little treats. Um, and this is Christmas mostly, but it also says happy, happy Halloween with a spider. Ho, 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 Merry Christmas. Birthday wishes for you today. A little treat for someone sweet. And there's some little sweets on here, so that could be any time or even Valentine's. Thank you for coming. Um, a little a ring, like an engagement ring. Um, you could use especially for you for that. Some ornaments and some what look like poinsettias. So this is from the 2020 August December mini. And there's the little treat box that goes with it. Little treat box dies. There you go. They even have the spider. Tiny little ornaments here, the ring, a ticket, um, Santa hat, and this is the present that cuts out. So the dies are there too. So that's it for, uh, this will be box H for holiday, 01, H01. All right, and I'm going to set up box two. All right, this is box H as in holiday, 02. And we have snowflake wishes. I don't think there were coordinating dies with this because I didn't write that on here. Time of giving, which um, I barely used, which has these neat um, sort of window cutouts with ornaments, pumpkins, the sleigh, and snowflakes. So that's an all season. Well, moat three season. Christmas, autumn, or harvest, uh, Thanksgiving, or just anytime you're thankful, and some snowflakes. Gather Together, which has some pumpkins, um, this big leaf here, and these leaves, um, which aren't on here, but uh, there's three of them in there. They kind of came off. Here's the die for those pumpkins, and the big one is right nope, there. Oh, there's two of these. So you can stamp this twice, and then the big pumpkin, there's one of them. And let me make sure there's seven dies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. Okay. All right. Celebration, darling donkeys and driving by. Now, this one is a uh, reversible. Um, I don't know if this had dies. I don't think it did. And it is well loved. It's stained, but it's still usable. Cup of cheer, Christmas cheer. So this is one you could stamp it plain on one side and then um, reverse it and you get the pattern. Um, and then there's sentiments and stuff you can use with it. And I think this, oh here, this goes with Snowflake Wishes. Sorry, the dies are here. And let me make sure, I think there's only one sheet of them in here. No, no, no. Two sheets of dies, guys, I think. Oh no, I just had extra paper in there. I thought I had an extra sheet. Okay, there's a lot of dies though. 
really pretty snowflakes. Um, not sure I really wanted to give them up, but I think I have other snowflake dye somewhere. They may not be stamping up though. Anyway, Snowflake Wishes. Banner Year is another one that is good for, I love this one actually. It does go with the Banner Pick-A-Punch, which is the smaller one, but I'm keeping that. So, but you can use it without that too. Um, so you've got your Halloween with the bats and the jack-o'-lantern and a spider web. You've got your fall with the leaves, oak leaves and acorn and squirrel. You've got a little um, envelope with the hearts in it for Valentine's and it's got XOXO and you've got Christmas wishes with the Santa hat um, and then just Christmas wishes. Uh, not so much Christmas in this one. This is more the other fall and Halloween other than the Christmas wishes and Santa hat, um, which I guess you could put on the squirrel. I don't know. <laughs> and there's a bird. All right. Sweetest time is your candles and um, candy cane. Beautiful set. Goes with the sweetest borders dies, which has candy canes or holly. Um, and then there's a standalone candy cane here. And some little candies as well um that you know that are in here too so another nice set love and light to you wishing you the sweetest season some holly leaves and for you with christmas cheer so you got a couple multiples in here festive post is another one i didn't realize i put multiple two two multiples in here two or three anyway the, the truck with the, or the car with the Christmas tree, which is a two-step love, October 31st, the witch's brooms, I love that, I probably should have kept this one, a deer, witching you a happy Halloween, I think this, this works with the um, rectangular postage uh, stamp punch, which I still have too, and there used to be a regular set, but I don't think I have that anymore, um, Anyway, tag buffet, if there was a die or anything for this, I don't know what it was. I think this was standalone though. Nice designs for tags and sentiments. That might have been a kit, now that I think of it. That might have come out of a kit, but I think I did the kit. Coming home, some of the paper was in the paper de-stash. This is the one with the houses. You can make it, and I bought it mostly for that VW bug, but I don't think I ever got to use that VW. Yeah, I did. I used it once because it stained a little bit. Um, and then you can make your treescape or your roads. Um, yeah, really nice set. Itty Bitty Christmas. Might have used that once or twice. It's red rubber. I mounted them all, but yeah, I used them a couple times. Not very often. They're in good shape. Um, gift wrap will come with the gift bow builder. Hesitant to give that one up too, but I am. Um, so that came with a punch. Uh, cherish the season with the bells. And here are the dies for that. You've got two together. You can stamp two together single ones here which cut out there and there or you can just cut out your own and that has nine dies one two three four five six seven eight nine yep and then menagerie mix-up which is little animals i did use it once or twice you can make bunnies sheep um, bears uh, reindeer I think there was something else. Hang on. <coughs> Sorry. Um, there might have been something else too. I can't, oh, uh, um, like a big ca a cow, a steer is what I'm trying to say. And then because there's some fall in there, I'm throwing in the apple builder punch, which I don't have the stamp set for that anymore. I think I got rid of that, but I kept the punch. But now I'm going to give up the punch. Apple builder. That was the number has retired so that is box h 
O2, holiday O2. And um, that's it, guys. So for the paper boxes, they are $60 shipped. There's two of those. I showed them first. Then the four, what I'll call non-holiday boxes, they're $175 shipped. That's shipping included. And there's four boxes of those, lot one, two, three, and four. And that's what you need to tell me, lot one, two, three, or four. First come, first serve. PayPal, I will invoice you. You're going to have to email me. I will put my email in the description box below. It's always there anyway. And then the holiday boxes are also $175 each. Okay, HO1 or HO2. All right, everyone. Hope that was clear. Um, questions, put them in the email to me.